G'day guys, Clint from Quicksand Timber. Today's video is going to be showcasing cleaning and caring for your timber flooring. We use a product called uh, Wokka. It's a really good cleaner, made in Europe, comes from Denmark, better quality than the products that you can get from the supermarket. The first step is to figure out what type of product is on your floor. Today's video, we're going to focus on lacquered floors, engineered floors, vinyl floors, and laminated floors. But it is very important to remember we are not focusing on oiled floors at all today. They have a completely different system of cleaning and care, which the two are not interchangeable. Okay, today's video is gonna be in two parts. The first part's going to be all about regular or weekly or fortnightly cleaning of your floor. We say weekly cleaning, but we realize that life gets in the way. So you're probably not going to clean your floors once a week. If you do, great. But if you can clean them bare minimum once a month, that is what you need to be doing to keep your floors looking good. So part one is gonna be all about the master cleaner is a product that gets mixed with water it's a concentrate and it can either be used in a bucket and you mop it on the floor or you can use it in a spray mop we'll go into this in more detail when we start showing you how to actually use the products the second part of the video is going to be all about maintaining your timber floors we're going to start by showcasing the intensive wood cleaner this is not an everyday or weekly or fortnightly cleaner. This only gets used for two specific reasons, or three really. If your floors are really dirty, you're gonna use this. I've just built a property here in Australia after a house is built, just before the owners take over, they'll do something called a builder's clean. That is where this product is suited best. And you will also use it just before you use the master care. So this is also a concentrate. And once you've washed and cleaned the floors with this and let the floors dry, then you will move on to the Master Care. The Master Care is ready to go out of the bottle. You open the lid, you pour it on the floor, and you apply it. It's just a maintenance product. It gets put on whenever the floor needs it, but it's not something you use regularly. Some people might use it every quarter, every three months. Some people might use it twice a year. Some people might only use it once a year. It's a product you put on the floor when you think your floor needs it, and it will leave a very fine film on top of the surface. It also is great at filling in any fine surface scratches that you have on the floor. We're gonna head now to my favorite shop in the world, Buddings. Bunnings, we're going to need to get ourselves a measuring jug for mixing up our ratios of cleaner. We're going to need to get two buckets. Very important, we have two buckets, not just one bucket, as you'll see later on once we start cleaning the floors. You will also need a mop if you don't have one. As everyone knows that has children and animals, the floors are constantly dirty. You don't need to take everything outside. You just need to move things around. I've just put the chairs on top of the table and now the floor is ready for vacuuming. Now that we've thoroughly vacuumed the floors, we're ready to start our clean. First clean is gonna be 
what you're going to use weekly or fortnightly, which is the master cleaner. We've got a litre of water here. We're going to add 25 mils of cleaner concentrate per litre. 25 mils into the container, put the lid on. As you can see, cleaning the floors shouldn't be a chore. If you've got the right tools, it's an incredibly quick thing to do. Next, we're gonna move on to the treatment of your timber floors. First thing you wanna do, get two different colored buckets. The first bucket is just going to have water in it. This is just hot water straight from the tap. It's a 10 liter bucket, I've filled it up, there's about five liters of water in there. Five liters of water in each. The second bucket is gonna be our bucket of cleaner. Using the intensive wood cleaner, this is for very dirty floors or floors that are then going to have the master care treatment applied, which is what we will be doing today. We're going to use 250 mils of cleaner for five liters of water. Pour this in the bucket, give it a mix around, we're gonna give it a ring out. We don't wanna get rid of all the water. We wanna get rid of a fair bit of it. Timber floors should only be damp mopped. They shouldn't be saturated with the mop. Water and timber do not mix. Now, here's where the second bucket comes in. This mop is dirty. If we pop it back into our solution of cleaner, we're contaminating the cleaner with dirty water. So we'll first rinse our mop in just a clean bucket of water. We have a clean mop again, ready to put into our solution and we can continue cleaning our floor. The final piece of the puzzle is the master care. It's not mixed with water. How it comes in the bottle is how you use it. So the first thing you're gonna do, give it a good shake, mix it up. Now we are going to be using this tool here. It has the name of either a T-bar or its technical German name is a witch weasel. I have no idea why it is called this. If you're German, maybe you can let us know in the comments below. If you can't get your hands on one of these, this is a very specialized tool, you can always substitute for a window cleaner. This is just something I picked up at Bunnings. It's about $50 from Bunnings. You can get cheaper versions of this. I think the cheapest one I've seen is about $10. And then you're going to apply your product. You're gonna pour a small amount on the floor, You're gonna take your applicator and you're just going to coat the entire surface of the floor with the product. You want it to have a decent coating, but you don't want pools of the product. Basically, you want the entire floor to be shiny. It will not dry shiny, it will dry to a flat matte finish. Something that a lot of people overlook 
is how important felt pads for the bottom of your furniture are. They need to go on the bottom of all pieces of furniture that get moved a lot. If they're being moved in and out on your timber floor, felt pads are what you need to put down. They really extend the life of your flooring. Keep in mind, there are some things you don't want to use on your timber floors. You don't want to be using steam mops. You don't want to be using bleach, ammonia. You don't want to be using metho or methylated spirits. These things will ruin your lacquered floors with the types of varnishes that are on them these days. That is why we are showcasing the Rocker range of cleaners because they're a very gentle cleaner. They won't damage your floors, but they will keep them in tip top shape. The stuff that we're doing is not particularly difficult. We don't want to make it hard for you to clean your floors. It needs to be an easy task. All the products that we've used will be linked below. Thanks for watching. And quicksand support, oh no. <laughs> up already. <laughs> All right, here we go. G'day guys, Clint here from Quicksand. Oh, see, I'm gonna oh Clint, <laughs> you're terrible. If there's no camera, I'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. It's the camera.